All right, so we want to create a new program. Um, what I want to do is just go up here um, in Notepad and Notepad++, and I'm going to do file, new file. Now, remember, specific way we got to save this, we got to go file, save as, and this time we're going to be talking about shift wage. Um, so we're going to have a program uh, that we're going to tell them how many hours we've worked and, and how much money we were making. And it's going to give back to us how much uh, our paycheck should be. Okay. So what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? The very first thing I'm going to need to print this program. We'll let you know how much you earned. Awesome. And what are we going to need from the from the user? We're going to need two things before we um, before we get going, right? So let's take a look. This program will let you know how much money you earned. Well, let's take a look. All right. First thing I need: how many hours did you work? So if I have hours, is going to be the variable of input. Um, many hours did? work. Uh, whoa, did. Yikers. This is really close to correct. There's no error in line three, but we're going to learn pretty soon that there's going to be an error in line three. I'm going to leave it here for now, but just know we're going to have to come back to it, and I messed up in a big, big way. The second thing we're going to need is um, uh, basically your wage, right? So same thing, I'm going to say input how much do you make an hour. And now what I need to do is if I know that they make $5 an hour and they've worked for five hours, well that means $5 an hour, they've worked for $5. That means I, they're $25, right? Because you just have to multiply how many hours they worked by how much they made. So their total is really just their wage. And now watch how we do it in, in Python. This little star, if you find the eight and you go up from the eight, right there, there's a little star. See that? That's a little star that means multiplication. So wage times hours. And that'll be our total. Um, now this, there's no input. There's no print. So the, the user's not going to see that at all. They're, it's just going to happen behind the scenes. Um, but watch what happens. I'm nervous. I run this thing. This program will let you know how much money you earned. Uh, how many hours did you work? I worked seven hours. How much did you make an hour? I made five dollars an hour. Can't multiply sequence by non-int type of string. Okay. What this is saying is these things are not integers, but we inputted numbers, seven and five. Now Python is great, but it's also kind of stupid. When you put in a number, it doesn't know that you put in a number that you want to do math with. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, I have to just give it a little hint. This thing that I'm going to give you is going to be an integer. Same thing with wage. It's going to be, and by integer I mean uh, non-decimal, but it, it, it lets Python know, like, this is a number, and wh who's ever programming and controlling me wants me to be able to do math with that number. Um, so watch what happens. I'm just going to print a simple message. Um, so you made dollars if you worked at. Um, so I have three spots where I'm dropping information. The, the first one is going to be the total. So you made total amount of dollars if you worked. Um, this will be hours at blank hours, uh, dollars an hour. So I'm going to do that dot format thing. Like I said, the very first thing that I plug, plugged in was the total. The second thing I plugged in was the hours. And the third little curly Q bracket things was the wage. So this should work. Uh-oh. Parsing, parsing, parsing. Probably good that we just kind of get familiar with these error codes because they're going to come, going to come at us every once in a while. Parsing, parsing is parentheses. Um, you'll see that these two are closed up, but what about me? Um, you know, it's there's someone out there for everyone, right? Uh, he doesn't have to die alone. 
I give him his little partner and it all works out as well. Okay, control X, Alt Shift F5. How many hours did you work? I worked, let's just do it so it's easy for our, our math. If I worked 10 hours and I made $2 an hour, hopefully 20 is the output. So you made $20 if you worked 10, I guess I should say hours right here, but whatever, uh, at $2 an hour. Um, I'm gonna actually add that. Uh, the problem comes in, what if I say I worked 12 point, let's make it easier. Let's say I worked 10.5 hours. Wait a second. Yeah, I can't say 10.5 hours because that's right. I use INT, which I said stands for integer. Now integers aren't decimals. So when I put in 10.5, uh, it totally, it didn't know what to do with it, right? Uh, we blew its little um, ones and zeros brain. So instead of integer, I'm gonna do this other one called float. Float says the exact same thing. It says, computer, I'm gonna give you a number, or I guess the user's gonna give you a number. I wanna be able to do math with that number. It may be an integer, it may also be a decimal. Uh, so float is a good one because it allows decimals. So now if I say I worked 11.8725 uh, hours, um, and how much did you make an hour? 97.52, yeah, you know, you're like a lawyer or something. Um, it'll give you uh, a way more specific um, uh, output, okay? Um, all right, I think that's, uh, we've hit all the, the topics that I needed you to hit.